Hello and welcome back to English for You. Over there is Chickalin, and over there it's Reese. And we're back for day two <laughs> of our article about squirrels, those tiny, cute animals that live in、mm. trees, and we've got loads of them in the UK. Yeah, but we're losing them. Yeah, we're losing the red ones. Oh yeah, the red ones. Yeah, the because ones. those big, mean, grey ones are basically bullying them into non-existence.、Mm, I hate bullies. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not—it's <laughs> not the gray squirrels' fault. It's our fault. Yeah. Right,、mm-hmm. because we're the ones that introduced the gray squirrels to the yeah, UK. Yeah, yeah. But hopefully, we'll have some solutions to this problem.、Mm-hmm. Well, before we get into day two of the article, I thought we could maybe quickly discuss hunting. Chicken. Okay. How do you feel about hunting animals?、Mm, well, for me, well, personally, I think it's kind of cruel. But、mm-hmm. I think there is a difference between hunting for. Well, hunting animals for food and hunting animals for fun. Yeah. I mean, if you need it and you live in the mountains, maybe you need to hunt. But if you're just like doing it out of entertainment, I don't think it's that good. Yeah, I agree.、Mm-hmm. Like you know, human society was kind of built on hunter gatherers. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. people who lived out in the field and they would hunt and kill animals to eat,、mm-hmm. and that's kind of how they survived.、Yeah. Now we don't really need to do that anymore. Maybe some small communities that live kind of in the wilds. Yeah. I think that's okay too. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. hunting for fun, for <sighs> me, I never understood why killing an animal for somebody would bring them joy. I know. You know,、yeah. I'd be very sad I, if I, I had to kill an animal. You know, if I was lost in the woods and I had to hunt rabbits, even. For food, I'd I'd do it, but I'd feel very sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you guys can think about that、mm-hmm. too. What do you think about hunting? Sometimes it might be necessary, as we might discuss、yeah. later. But for now, let's get into day two of our article about saving the red squirrels. Reading. The UK races to save its red squirrels. People in the UK love their red squirrels, so they are doing their best to help them. The government has come up with a few solutions. One is to put contraceptives into the food of grey squirrels. This will make them less likely to have babies. With fewer grey squirrels to compete with or make them sick, the red squirrels will have a better chance. The trees in the UK will also be healthier because of this, since grey squirrels sometimes damage trees. Another solution is to use grey squirrels' natural predators to restrict their numbers. For example, pine martens mainly hunt grey squirrels, not red squirrels. Scientists are releasing pine martens in areas with too many grey squirrels, and they're already seeing results. Although it might seem cruel. This helps keep the environment in balance. Different animals can live together better this way. With these plans, people in the UK hope their red squirrels will make a comeback. So today's article begins by telling us that people in the UK love their red squirrels, so they are doing their best to help them. That's definitely true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 那第二句呢？我们第一句老师他是说，呃，那个英国的人呢，他们很喜欢他们的红松鼠，所以呢，他们在尽全力帮助他们哦。那所以怎么帮呢 ？The government has come up with a few solutions. 这边出现的片语是想出提出的意思，代表政府呢想出了一些 solutions. Okay, so what is a solution? It's our first vocabulary word. Solution is a noun, and a solution is a way to solve a problem. If you have a problem, the way that you can make that problem go away is by working out a solution. For example, if your problem is that you lost your phone in a taxi, the solution could be to call the taxi company and ask them to find the driver and your phone. Here's an example sentence with solution. We worked as a group to work out a solution to the teacher's problem. So solution 就是解决方案的意思。那记住，如果是说某事情的解决方案，我们会用 to 这一个介系词 a solution to something。比如说 ，He has no solutions to his financial troubles， 代表呢他对他的
经济能力的一些麻烦都没有解决方案了。那这个字呢，我们刚刚讲是名词，所以解决的动词这个字就是 solve to solve a problem. 嗯、mm, ，solve all the world's problems. Yeah. Okay, back to the article. One is to put contraceptives into the food of grey squirrels. This will make them less likely to have babies. I think that's very smart. That's a really smart way to do it, and a very humane way of doing、yeah. it too, because nobody's getting hurt. Hmm. So this word is just contraceptive. It's the pill word. So one solution is to put these pills into the food of grey squirrels. This will make them less likely to have babies. Mm. So the word contraceptive here—it's a very long, difficult word. It's a noun, and it's a kind of medicine that people or animals can take to make sure that they don't have babies. And it can be a very useful medicine if you don't want to have a baby. Okay,、mm -hmm. back to the article. So they're on the pill. They're on the pill. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think when when we humans take it, we call it the pill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah,、And、it's cool. kind of code for contraceptive. 那个药丸 Yeah. Oh, in Chinese, they don't use that. Ah,、uh, no. 我可能说 birth control 也不会讲 Birth control.、Yeah. 你有在避孕吗？会这样讲 <laughs> Yeah.、Uh, so are are you taking the, the pill? The pill. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Well, the article says, with fewer gray squirrels to compete with or make them sick, the red squirrels will have a better chance. Yeah, so red squirrels, their number is reduced, so they will have less competition. Yesterday, we talked about this word competition. Do you remember? Less competition, less disease. Red squirrels will have better chance of surviving. Mm. And it's very smart because the grey squirrels eat different foods from the grey squirrels,、so、from the red squirrels.、Mm -hmm. So there's no risk of the red squirrels accidentally eating the contraceptives. Oh yeah! Right. So it's super smart. Very smart. Okay, and then the article carries on with the trees in the UK will also be healthier because of this, since grey squirrels sometimes damage trees. Oh, so it's also another good thing. Ah, that is, England's trees will also be more healthy because grey squirrels sometimes damage trees. Maybe bite them or something. Ah,、uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure, but these grey squirrels really do sound like pests. Oh, yeah, it's not sure, but these grey squirrels really do sound like pests. Oh, yeah, it's not sure, but these grey squirrels really do sound like pests. Oh, yeah, it's not sure, but these grey squirrels really do Another solution is to use gray squirrels' natural predators to restrict their numbers. Okay. Ooh, that was a mouthful. I know, <laughs> so many long words. So we first look at today's vocabulary. We will read one by one every time. This vocabulary, we first look at the text. One, blah blah blah. Another. This is used in non-limited categories. For example, there are several books on the table. One is a dictionary. Another is a dictionary. There are several books on the table. One is a dictionary. Another is a picture book. 代表呢，桌上有好几本书，其中一本是字典，另外一本是图画书。可是它有好几本书嘛，代表你没有限定范围。但其实呢，英文里面如果把 another 变成 the other， 它就会变成不定代名词的句型，代表是有限的范围内来列举两个东西。比如说，我们造一个句子。There are only two people at the bus stop. One is an old man. The other is a police officer. 代表公车站呢只有两个人，其中一个是老年人，另外一个是警察。代表只有两个人。我们指的是有限的范围。那老师刚刚又提到 predator 这个单词 ，What is that? Predator,、uh, a scary word. It's a、mm -hmm. it's a really cool word. Predator is a noun, and a predator is an animal that hunts other animals. To eat, lions are good examples of predators. Spiders and snakes are predators too. Predators eat、uh, eat meat, and the animals they catch are called prey.、Oh. So predators and prey. A mouse would be prey for a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Mm. 就是老鼠是猫会吃的那个动物。那呃，这个字呢 ，predator， 它就是捕食者或掠食动物的意思。Very scary. Like lions are very strong、Famous、predators. Famous predators. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We also have the verb restrict. Restrict means to put a limit on something or to keep control of something. If you restrict something, that means you want to stop it from growing too much or going too fast, etc. The government restricts how fast. Uh, cars can drive on roads using speed limits. The article talks about restricting the numbers of squirrels. That means stopping the number of squirrels from being too high. Here's an example sentence: 
Because of the coronavirus, the government restricts how many people can gather in one place. 好，所以这个字呢 ，restrict， 它就是限制的意思。那有一个小片语，就是 to restrict oneself to something。这个指的就是把自己啊或某人限制在特定的范围内。比如说 ，I get drunk easily, so I restrict myself to one cocktail every time I drink with friends. That's just an example, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't really drink that much、mm. either. I get tipsy very, very easily. <laughs> 所以这个字是动词哦，是 restrict。那它的名词超级简单，你在后面加上 i o n 就好了。Restriction 就是限制。那课文就是说，那我们要限制的是什么呢？这边讨论到的是数量 numbers。Yeah, numbers. But we're using the word in a slightly different way from the numbers you use in mathematics. So number is a noun. We all know know the word number, like one, two, three.、Mm -hmm. But here, the word numbers is more specific. It's talking about population. Population is the total number of people or animals living in a place. So by restricting the numbers of squirrels, the article is talking about keeping the population of squirrels small. An example sentence could be: The number of lions left in the wild could be less than twenty thousand. Right. So, 老师刚刚这个句子指的就是狮子的数量 the number of something. 用的是 the. 所以记住，这个是指数量的时候。那如果我们今天是说小数量呢？我们不是指一个整体的数量，我们是说小东西不多的时候，我们会用 a. A small number of something. 那如果是大的数量，就是 a large number of something. 那如果是几个的时候，就是 a number of something. 比如说呢 ，a number of buyers have shown interest in our new products. 代表呢，有一些买家对我们的商品是有兴趣的耶。那老师刚刚讲到的那个是指整体的一个数量，所以要记住它的差别。那文章就是说，另外一个解决方式呢，就是利用捕食灰松鼠的动物来控制灰松鼠的数量。Okay, and then the article continues with, for example, pine martens mainly hunt grey squirrels, not red squirrels.、Mm -hmm. Ah, so that's a good thing for the red squirrels is that this. Animal, the pine martin, will eat the grey squirrels, but not many of the red ones.、Oh. Mm. So we have the word hunt here, which we did talk about before. Hunt is a verb, and hunt means to go out and search for food. Animals hunt for other animals to eat, or sometimes they can hunt for vegetables or seeds. Humans used to hunt too, but not so much anymore. We don't really need to hunt, though, as we talked about earlier. Some、yeah. people still do it for sport.、Mm. An example sentence here with hunt: A cat will spend hours each night hunting for mice and birds to eat. Yes, so this word is hunt, 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 hunt animals, hunt something. That actually can be said to hunt for something, to hunt for something. For example. Asher is hunting for a new job. 代表 Asher 呢，他在找一个新工作。那这一个字如果是猎人呢，就很简单，我们在后面加上 er， 就会变成 hunter。所以文章意思就是，举例来说呢，松雕这种动物，它就是以捕食灰松鼠为主。Hmm. Actually, my mum's、uh, family name before she married my dad was Hunter. Oh, so my uncle is still called Richard Hunter. Oh yeah, so, that's so cool. Yeah, it's a cool name, right? And I, I guess it maybe become it comes from the fact that their ancestors were probably hunters. Oh yeah, but it make makes them sound so powerful. Yeah, Richard Hunter and Mark Hunter. They're such strong names. I know. Okay, well, back to the articles. Scientists are releasing pine martens in areas with too many gray squirrels, and they're already seeing results. 哦，所以其实蛮有效的耶。科学家他把这些松雕放到灰松鼠太多的地方，现在已经有效了。That's good news, right? So、mm. that means that solution is working.、Mm -hmm. hmm. And then the article says, although it might seem cruel, this helps keep the environment in balance. 哦，出现了、mm. yesterday's grammar point. Yeah. So let's talk about a few words here. Uh, the first word is the word cruel, which is spelled C R U E L. Cruel is an adjective, and cruel means mean or nasty. 
If someone or something is cruel, they intentionally cause pain to others. Someone who is cruel doesn't feel bad about others, about making others feel pain. Sometimes they even enjoy it.、Mm. So we don't want to be cruel. No. I think killing animals for no reason is very cruel. And sometimes people can be cruel to each other. They can be very、mm. cruel. Yeah, like sometimes kids in the playground at school, they might call each other bad names.、Mm-hmm. That's kind of cruel. Don't do that. Yeah, an example sentence could be: The cruel boy enjoyed punching and kicking other kids in the playground. That's so bad.、Yeah. I hate that. I would punish him if I was his teacher. Yeah. <laughs> so this word "cruel" is cruel. That we just heard that punching is cruel. If I think punching is cruel, I can say I think it's very cruel to hunt.、Mm. That word has the adjective to be cruel. 比如说 ，I can't bear to see animals being treated so cruelly. Yeah, it makes me sad too.、Mm-hmm. The other word in the sentence we should talk about was the word environment. It's a noun, and the environment is the world around us. Everything around you, such as the trees, the sky, the ground, even the buildings and the people and the animals, all of that makes the environment. When we talk about the environment, we're often talking about the natural world. The environment is made up of plants and animals, and people can change the way the environment works in dangerous ways, as we've seen in recent history. An example sentence could be: The natural environment around the city is dying because of pollution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this word, the environment, it means the natural environment. So the teacher just mentioned another word. If you add the th, it becomes the environment. It means the natural 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 environment. It I believe a comfortable working environment can help increase productivity. 这是我觉得一个很舒服的工作环境呢，可以增加生产力。那这边老师刚刚提到的句子，出现的 imbalance 就是昨天的文法练功方。这边指的就是保持平衡。所以这个方式呢，看起来很残酷，不过也是保持环境平衡的方式。So that. Part of the article is basically saying that you know introducing a predator to eat the gray squirrels it sounds cruel,、mm-hmm. but it's kind of something that we have to do to save the environment, right? Yeah, And also,、natural. you know, animals get eaten by predators in the wild anyway. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's just kind of a part of nature, right?、True. Yeah. Okay. Well, then the article continues, and it says different animals can live together better this way. With these plans, people in the UK hope their red squirrels will make a comeback. 这边出现的片语 make a comeback 就是回归或者是复出复苏起来的意思。那文章就是说呢，不同种的动物呢，其实就是能透过这样子的方式更好的生活在一起。所以 maybe 嗯、um, ，老师刚刚讲到了嘛，掠食者去吃动物，其实看起来很残酷，不过那个就是大自然的规则。所以有了这些计划呢，英国人就希望红松鼠可以早日回归。Yeah, I hope they do make a comeback because they are really cute. And I think they're very special to British people. Yeah,、mm-hmm. I can tell. Well, when I go back to the UK, I'll keep my eyes open for those red, fluffy blobs、cute. bouncing around、mm-hmm. the trees.、Mm-hmm. Yeah,、okay. cuteness. Very cute.、Mm-hmm. Well, that's the end of the two-day article about the red squirrels. So let's wrap up with a for you chat question. For you chat. Okay, so today's for you chat question:、mm-hmm. What animals in Taiwan might be in danger of dying out? How can we protect them? I think Taiwan has a lot of special creatures, right? Especially、mm-hmm. some that are only in Taiwan. So one recent example was the Taiwanese cloud leopard, right? Yuan Bao.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, the beautiful cat that lives in the mountains, and I think now it's pretty much guaranteed extinct.
Mm. There are some people that think there might be a few left, but nobody's really seen them in many years. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Um, but there are other animals that are getting close. I think there's the Taiwanese landlocked salmon. Have you heard of this one? Oh yeah, and they go Inghua Gao Wen Gui. You were talking about that, right? Yeah, it's、oh. only in Taiwan,、mm-hmm. and it's on the money, right? It's on the two thousand、uh, dollar note, I think. Yeah, the, the picture、mm-hmm. of it. So th- that's an example of an animal that nearly was extinct, but Taiwan, the government kind of stepped in and, and really worked hard、it. to、mm-hmm. save them, and and now I think they're doing okay. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely, you know, to protect. Protect these animals. We need governments to help us. To take but、action. also people can make their own groups to to help raise awareness of the issues that these animals、yeah. face. Well, it requires everybody's effort to keep them safe. Yeah, it does because、mm-hmm. you know animals can only do so much for themselves. It's kind of our fault that they're dying,、yeah. so we should be the ones that help save、mm-hmm. them. Well, you guys can think about this question at home. You know, what animals have you heard about that are having a hard time, and and how can we, as humans,、uh, save them and be responsible、yeah. for them?、Uh, but that's all we have. Go go online and look up some videos of red squirrels bouncing around the trees because they are <laughs> super cute. I'm gonna do that tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, it's it, they're they're very very interesting.、Uh, that's all we have, and、uh, we'll see you next time. So stay safe and bye. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Solution. Stop worrying and think for a moment. I'm sure we can find a good solution to the problem. Restrict. At our school, class sizes are restricted to twenty students or fewer. Number. Some people think the drop in the number of births is due to long work hours. Hunt. Tigers hunt deer, cows, and pigs, but they sometimes attack humans when they don't have enough food. Cruel. Alex had an unhappy childhood because his parents were cruel and often hit him. Environment. Marsha likes to study in an environment that is quiet and bright, like a library. 智慧小补帖 Contraceptive. Predator. Make a comeback. The following program is by Huo Yong Kongzhong Mei Yu Production. Huo Yong Kongzhong Mei Yu Magazine. Please check out all the local bookshops. If you want to buy anything, please call 02-2364-4000. 零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。